Hi, it's me, it's Robert, the Vision Rehab OT here on Facebook and um, YouTube and every place else on the internet. So we uh, today are going to talk about um, irregular eye movements and what do they look like. I've been able to collect a, uh, a couple of videos showing some pathological eye movements, particularly associated with near vision focusing. So in the first video, we're going to look at a really bad case of, uh, of uh, convergence insufficiency. Um, this young man has um, a really bad near point of convergence out somewhere around 13 or 14 centimeters. So it's pretty far out there. As you look at the video, you're going to notice his two eyes try to come in and you're going to see sometimes that left eye goes out, sometimes the right eye goes out, but we don't ever see them actually coming in together and meeting up at the nose like they're supposed to. So let's take a look at a bad near point of convergence. And watch that as I bring it towards you. And watch it again as I bring it towards you. Can you read the letters? Wait, there's the letters. Can you read the letters for me as I bring it towards you? E-X-T-P-D-M-V-E. Good. And again. E-X-T-P-D-M-V-S. And one more time. E-X-T-P-D-M-V-E. V.S. So what frequently goes along with the bad near point of convergence, and it's part of the diagnostic criteria for convergence insufficiency, is an exophoria. This is an imbalance of the uh, a muscle imbalance in the eyes when they're at rest. So what we're going to see in the next video is a cover test that shows this same kiddo's um, uh, exophoria. So what what happens is, is we cover one eye with an occluder. When we take away that fixation from that eye, the eye moves in the direction of the strongest muscle. With an exophoria, that eye moves over here. When we uncover the eye, we're gonna see the eye resume and, and move back inward towards her nose. So this is something that the doctor's gonna do. He's gonna look for this, these phorias at distance and at near, he's gonna measure that as well. While I, um, I do this clinically to observe how, uh, just what's going on, I don't document on this because I don't have the tools to measure for that phoria. So let's take a look at the exophoria that goes along with our friend's um, bad uh, near point of convergence. Right there, there you go. So the next video is um, a little different. I want to tell you a little bit about this uh, about this person. Uh, many of our kids that we're seeing <clears throat> will have some behavioral problems associated um, with their near vision problems. Um, some of them may have been diagnosed with ADHD. They may have trouble with handwriting. They may have trouble with reading. But you know what? Not all of them do. The young lady I'm about to show you is in the uh, in the Inter International Baccalaureate program. She is an honor student who um, is very, very successful in school, has never had any sort of behavioral problems. She has had these mysterious uh, headaches that have gone undiagnosed. And um, she was finally as well diagnosed with convergence insufficiency. So we're going to take a look at the accommodative part of her um, her uh, near vision focusing problems. The first thing you're going to notice as we look at this video, um, the video was done in this same room with this same amount of light. As you notice her pupils, they're going to be really big. As we start looking at um, her accommodative skills, you're going to see that pupil shrink and it's going to continue to try to pop up and get really big. You're going to see her blinking a whole lot too as she attempts to get that accommodation to work. So let's take a look at her video. And it won't be me talking. So look up at the camera for me a bit. We're gonna cover that. Let's see if I can get this and I'm gonna bring it towards you. I can't do it. Ah, uh, here, hold that. 
So follow that in. Bring it. Nope, look up higher for me. There you go. That's it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. They acted right that time. Go back out again for me. This is the hard part of this. I needed um, a director. Oh, that was a good one. So finally, remember, you can always find uh, great vision information here at Vision Rehab OT, the YouTube site. I have a blog at visionrehabot.com uh, where um, a lot of these videos are also mirrored with a blog post and you can check that out. You can find me on Facebook at Vision Rehab OT. Uh, go there and um, like that page. I share a lot of great information about vision for kids and adults as well. Um, I will also uh, be out on the road with um, PESI and uh, presenting continuing education with a webinar available as well. You can go to pessy.com and search for my name, Robert Constantine, and it'll show you the dates where I'm gonna be uh, traveling to next, as well as information on live webinars. We have one coming up um, in a couple of months, and uh, as well as some, um, some travel dates coming up up in the Northeast. So um, remember, every kid every year gets an eye exam. Stay focused, thanks.